Hello guys, this is all from Opus Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to get notified. As you can see from the title, today we're going to install NGEIX Proxy Manager on Docker. On my uh, GitHub, you'll find the code that you need. Everything is in the description below, so don't forget. As you can see here, I already got port here. That's what we're going to use. I'm going to create a stack for that, and I'm going to create the name ngix and i'm going to paste the code that you seen earlier on i already changed some of the ports from 80 to 8080 so on and so forth as you can see here from the main page as well of course i already got those ports used so i, I, I know i'm unable to use those ones as well you want to make sure that you get the po you know, the ports that's been already been published uh, because i'm using open media vault i was using them 80 that's the reason why i'm changing all the three ports to totally different ones but again feel free to use any ports you want but be sure to change the one on the left not the one on the right you can find more information as well on docker app here you can find all the information you need to get started as well with the nginx i'm going to change to version 2 um Portainer doesn't recognize version 3 yet once i'm ready i'm going to deploy the stack and that is as simple as that to get started with the nginx proxy manager in this tutorial we are not just going to install the proxy manager but i'm going to show you how to add your domains as well how to change uh, the name server and how to attach to cloudflare as well so anyway the stack has been deployed as you can see here and what we're going to do we're going to open port 8181 let me have a look here if everything looks right as you can see it's been completed and it's been renewed so everything works and everything looks good all we got to do we got to go back click on the link here 8181 and it will open the proxy manager let me close this one up let's go back let's put the email address now the installation uh well let me go back and let me grab the default admin user you will find also I'm going to up, you know, update everything here now. So you'll find everything on GitHub. I just update this one. I'm uh, creating the comment here. Again, guys, just go there, comment, whatever you want to do. I'm going to copy the default admin logins and then I'm going to change once I am logged in for the first time. Make sure you got a strong password when you do that. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to do never, not now. And I'm going to change details here for my logins. Make sure you change the administrator name, the nickname, and then press save. Add your current password. Uh, in, that, in this case, it will be change me. And then add the new password and confirm. Again, that's change me, okay? So that's what you want to do. Your password and then confirm the password and click save. Here we go. Job done. And the administration has been created. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I'm going to redirect to. This is the a file browser via a web this is what we're going to read right direct but before I, i'm going to do anything as you can see this is my domain uh, registrar i have already inserted the uh name server from cloudflare we go name server one and name server two one is the max one is the olga as you can see there all the information as you can see can be taken from the cloudflare website as you can see here from the cloudflare website this is the name service that you're going to copy and paste into your registrar now we are inside here we already created a domain in cloudflare what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new entry and i'm going to delete this entry here it's so in nginx proxy manager create a new proxy host you're going to add the domain name in this case open source.uk the scheme is http that's the actual ip of the app and we got also the forward port Make sure that you block the commons exploit and also the web socket support. I for advanced, we got nothing to change. SSL request a new SSL. We make sure we got the force SSL, HTTP2 support, HSTS enabled. And we got to agree the let's encrypt terms and service. And we got the actual details here as we already talked. Are we going to save it? And that's what it's all about in NGINX Proxy Manager. Right, so next step is to find out your IP and create a record in Cloudflare. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create an AA record. I'm going to set use at root. But before I do that, let's go to Google and let's 
type my IP. This is where you can find your IP address. This is the external IP address. This is just in case you don't know how to get the IP from your router. I'm going to click on my IP.com. As you can see, once it's been loaded, here we got the IP. Of course, this is just a fake IP. And this is the one when it says your IP, you need to copy and paste inside here, IPv4 in Cloudflare. Make sure you got the proxy. Make sure it's DTL auto. Again, you can switch it off and then switch it back on when everything works okay to make sure it's secure. Once you've done this one, the last thing to do is to delete the old, the original one when it came is when you created the actual domain in Cloudflare. So now that everything has been done, let's have a look at the actual domain. It should work it okay once I, as you can see here, it goes straight to the IP and gets redirected with the right DNS. Right, so we're back to the NGIX proxy manager. Let's create a new host and this time I'm gonna create a subdomain. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create the name of the subdomain. I'm gonna say Cuntly. This is another app that I'm map apps. I'm going to uh, show you how to install it later on uh, in another tutorial. Dot the actual domain, in this case, open source channel.uk. Again, I'm going to, uh, I think I deleted that one. There we go. Uh, then I'm going to add the IP address 192.168.1244. Now it's important to find the port address for Countly. That's 8889. Again, block common exploits and the rest. I'm going to leave it SSL as it is. No HTTP this time. Just not normal. And this is what we're going to do. Uh, important we got the IP there. As you can see, it works okay the Countly. Now let's go back to Cloudflare where we're going to create a new record. I'm going to create a new, so I'm going to create a new C name. I'm going to write the name of the subdomain. In this case, it's going to be Cuntly. And the target is going to be, of course, the domain opensourcechannel.uk. So when everything is done, I'm going to click save and job is done. So everything with Cloudflare is been done, has been covered, and everything has been done with the proxy manager. All we're going to do, as you can see here, it comes nice and easy, and you can also access the subdomain. All right, guys, so thanks so much for joining me today for this short tutorial on how to install NGNX proxy manager on Docker. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it, and I'll see you next time.